So continuing our trend of social media criticism this week, I suppose that we should take a look at the new Twitter alternative fresh from the Zionist mind of Mark Zuckerberg. I mean Zuckerberg. Now, I'm not going to lie. As of this recording, I've gone back and forth publicly about threads because, frankly, it reminds me of a 1980s British nuclear war film, which is fitting, considering that I feel like joining this app would almost make you wish for a nuclear winter. Besides the normal stuff, like data mining your information, like a 49er digging in the Sierra Nevada dirt for some shiny gold nuggets, and the fact that it's owned by a soulless younger version of Emperor fucking Palpatine, it has been promoted by m many liberals who say that it's mad woke, as the kids are saying these days. And while I wouldn't love nothing more than to waste yet more of my valuable time on another God's forsaken social media app that I could both promote my trash content and annoy the shit out of liberals, right-wing fascists, and ultroid anarchos alike, I would prefer not to give my information to yet another social media app, least of which one owned by a conglomerate like Meta, who harvests my data like it's August in Napa fucking valley, and will undoubtedly censor me for my anti-Zionist and extremist ideals. As I've said in the previous videos, it doesn't matter what social media platform you engage in, they're really all the same. New platforms like Mastodon, Blue Sky, and Threads promise to be different, but all turn into the same soul-sucking entities of debauchery and sin, and if I wanted to do that, I could just travel into downtown fucking Portland, and if I wanted to be told what a worthless waste of human garbage I am, I'd just as soon go look up my ex-wife. My point is, if I wanted another den of human discourse, I'd rather just stay on Twitter. Oh, but Nicole, Threads is so much better. Maybe to you, but to someone like me who adheres to more <clears throat> radical views than most of the, gen the general pub population, I'm almost certain I could easily find myself or others dragging us all into a pit of sewage before getting called a tanky and then getting blocked by some rando on the internet or potentially just getting myself banhammered. What I'm saying is, is if I wanted to fall into another cesspit of human excrement being spewed from the bowels of the unmotivated masses, I'd rather just jump into the Willamette fucking river. But since this is the internet, and I can't resist a good frolicking through the fucking tulips while dodging fucking landmines, I decided to take the plunge so y'all won't fucking have to. Now I must say, when I first got here, I may have sent a couple of you invites to this, so sorry if you got dragged in. I thought you guys had accounts, but it, because apparently when you start setting up, it wants you to connect to your fucking Instagram account. Since I have a personal and a private account that I keep per separate for a fucking reason, I decided to link my public account, which is obviously Comrade Red Pagan. Well, no turning back now. I've danced with the devil, and we're about to see if curiosity indeed is going to kill the cat, and if I'm going to get burned, so let's fuck around and find out, shall we? Upon opening this app, I seen that a few of my friends from back home have already sent me requests for if and when I joined, so I go ahead and I give them a follow back, because fuck it at this point. I then proceed to make my first thread. Well, I've joined this app for the fucking lols. Guess I'm dancing with the devil now. I'm here to eat cake and bring liberation through revolution. And I have eaten all of the cake. I follow some trans accounts that I already follow on Twitter, and I proceed to see how this app works. It is remarkably easy to navigate, so I'll give it points for its copy-paste approach and definitely gives the generic feeling that we also see with Blue Sky. I would even go so far to say that I kind of like the feel and layout of it a lot more than I do Blue Sky. Though, to be honest, I really don't see much difference. It really doesn't stand out in any way. And the vibes are... Def definitely different, largely because of the fact it's new and while I'm kind of walking into some uncharted and largely liberal territory here. I do, however, see that Yankee Spanky Tanky and some other Pat Sox have made their way over here, so very obviously the app is not doing a very good job in removing and keeping all the fast trash off the site, but we'll go ahead and let that slide for now. Just first impressions aside, it feels dull and boring, and you get the feeling of isolation and impending dread and loneliness as if you're walking through liminal space. And while the lack of discourse is cool and all, it also makes the site seem like an eco chamber for vote blue no matter whose, in a dull, dingy, and even cringe sort of way. 
Also, the fact that in order to even get the follows to appear in your feed, you have to hit a fucking notification bell. Oh, that's original threads. That, that doesn't totally sound like the same redundant bullshit that YouTube does with the subscribe feature. What's the fucking point of following somebody if you have to turn on notifications? It's like defeating a boss in Elden Ring and then all of a sudden realizing, oh, that wasn't the real boss. That was just the practice boss to the real boss. Like, that seems like a real dick move and kind of seems like it defeats the whole fun and purpose of the whole thing. I also can't seem to find the messages feature so that if I wanted to have a group chat or send a private DM to friends like I do on, oh, I don't know, any other social media app, I could. And that's because there isn't one. I searched all over this goddamn app, and maybe it's just because I'm an older millennial and not very tech-savvy and out of touch. Maybe I'm just blind, or maybe it's just because they don't have a bloody fucking messaging icon. So you're telling me I have to go gallivanting back over to Instagram or Facebook to have a conversation with friends, or is this just a, a feature that only unlocks if you just have a Threads account not connected to another Meta platform? Seriously, knock on points there. Overall, I think Threads is meh. Nah. Nothing really makes it stand out from the rest, and it only goes to further my point that all these social media platforms are all the same and are inevitably just going to end up having some new update or change that we're not going to like and becoming another useless waste of our time for us to focus our already short attention spans on. At the same time, I guess it could become another useful tool to promote our platforms and videos and businesses on. I guess what I'm saying is that I just don't see the bloody point. If there's a certain basic feature of a social media app that's omitted or just not easily accessible, then it doesn't seem very appealing to me. Maybe it just needs a chance to grow and improve, weed out the bugs, and take out some of the trash. Maybe I just need to spend a little more time on it, getting used to how it works and wading a bit further into the waters. Or maybe I'm just getting old and the concept of social media is just all becoming the same to me, bland, tasteless, and generic like biting into a cinder block or a block of fucking sandstone. I'm Red Pagan Nicole, and this has been Red Pagan Corner. Until next time.